hello guys so welcome to this tutorial on how you can use chat gpt as a chatbot in python using the pycharm so we did a lot of things to, to to install first you need to have a python running on your computer and you also need to have installed pycharm that will proceed to install the open ai with the open ai we can import it to use the um api so if you don't have Python install, you can just go to python.org. You visit python.org, yeah, you'll be able to install the latest uh, Python release on your device. I, I already have Python running here, so I don't need to do that. So you can see the latest Python as of the time of recording this video is 3.11.1. 1. So you have that. So when you're done, say, then you also have to download PyCharm. PyCharm is an ID that you can use to write. Um, Python code so you can download PyCharm when you go to jetbrains.com and you just jetbrains jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm forward slash download you, you'll be able to download um, the you, you have to the two version of PyCharm you can download the professional and the community the professional has a lot of um, other features but it is not free but you can just download the free version the community version that allow you to write well our codes in Python. So once you have that, so I'm going to launch my. I, have, I already have a Python and PyCharm running on this computer, so I'm going to show you. So this is my PyCharm. So um, one thing you you can go to the terminal of PyCharm. If you go to the terminal, so there's this down arrow here. When you click on this down arrow, select command prompt. From here, you can check the version of Python that you have installed on the machine. If I type Python dash dash version. So I have Python 3.11.1. So now the latest release I have there. I can also check um, the because and another thing you need is you need pip because pip allow you to install um, packages on your that, that you can use that that you can use your Python and PyCharm. So if you don't have pip, you have to go to PyPy and also to install pip. So you can also check the pip version here as well. And most cases, the pip also come bundled when you install Python as of Python 3. I have version of Python, I think pip come pre-installed there. So but you need just, you just have to check to be sure, type pip, then version. Okay, so for me now, I have version pip 21.3.1. So I have Python and I have pip installed. So we're going to be using the pip to install the OpenAI API. So now, because what I need to use to be able to use the chat GVT API, I need to be able to import the uh, OpenAI package. So if I just type here import OpenAI, OpenAI, you can see I'm having an error here. So I just have to increase this for you to see. All right, so you see that there's an error here. So what you need to do, so just trying to increase the font size. Okay. All right. So if I import OpenAI now, you can see OpenAI is installed and PyCharm is complaining. The interpreter is saying that, uh, let me open it and see the message there. So it's saying that no module name OpenAI. So we have to pip install OpenAI. So to pip install OpenAI, so I'm just make sure you're connected to the internet to be able to do this. So pip install. So I'm going to say pip install. Open AI. So press enter. All right. You see, I successfully installed Open AI 0.26.4. So now I have pip installed on my computer. So if I import Open AI now, all right. You see, no error now. So we have Open AI installed now on the system. So we cannot go ahead and use. So if you go to the documentation for uh, chat. GBT. So if you go to the documentation for chat GBT, so if you go to openai.com, um, at the top here you see API. So here you read documentation, you'll be able to um, see how you can use the OpenAI API in your code to do a lot of things. There are a lot of things you can do. You can check code with it. You can also do text editor. You can do completions and a lot of that. So the OpenAI API, you can apply it to virtually any task that involve understanding or 
generating natural language or code. So, and if you look at the documentation here, so we have some parameters that we're going to be using, like the prompt, the completions, the tokens. Virtually, um, the way the chat with the, the the language model is able to understand um, text is it uses tokens, meaning. Uh, almost everything is being tokenized. So it's it has a tokenizer tool that allows you to understand a particular language. So it's going to break it down. For example, if you have um, the word hamburger, so the hamburger will be broken down into uh, about three tokens. Ham is a token, B-U-R, boy is a token, and the G-R guy is a token. So that's the way it's able to um, perform its prediction um, accurately. So and there are, all, there are guys in these um, Open AI that you can see if you go to test completion, code completion, but you need to sign in. So if you don't have an account with Open AI, just um, just query the openai.com and then um, sign up. Once you sign up, you have access because one thing we need uh, that we, that we need to use in the Open AI API is the API key. So the API key is free. I think um, the Open AI will give you like $18 for you to be able to use it. Uh, I think that's one of three sessions you can use that key. So once you generate, but you have to generate the key. So once you generate the key, you have to store it somewhere. So, but before we do that, so let me just, let's go to these examples here. Yeah. So in these examples, you see a lot of, you can, the examples uh, that you can use the Open AI API to do, but the one we're interested in today is the chat. If I scroll down here, I'll see the chat here. So now this is a chat. So, but if one thing is we have a lot of, so this is the basic code that you need. So I'm going to explain all these things that we're going to use it in our code. And I'll explain how the works, the parameters, the model. There are, there are four models that the chat GPT uses. The DaVinci, it uses DaVinci, it uses Cori, it uses Babbage and Ada. So, but the DaVinci is the largest and the most capable uh, model. So that's the one we'll, we'll be using in this tutorial. We'll be using the DaVinci model to do the chatbot here. So you can actually copy this code and edit it. So here you you need the API key. So, but I'm going to have, I have a code now here. So I'm going to show you what I have. All right. So. This is the code there. So the first line, you have, just, you have to import OpenAI before you can use any of these uh, functions and methods. So once I import OpenAI, then uh, then the next thing I have to open AI.API key. So but before that, you have to generate the key. So once you sign up on OpenAI, click on the um, the icon of your account, you'll see view API key. So once you go to view API keys, okay, I've already generated a key as a, um, so that's what you're seeing. Um, a colon here for you if you just open this account new it probably be an empty so it will be empty and you have creating a secret key here so I have a key that I created for everyone and it was last used today so and so this is the key but you don't have access to it so you have to keep it safely you see your secret API keys are it will be listed here and it's not been displayed you see it's only the first two and the last four characters are displayed here. so it is secret and uh, I for security reasons, you don't have to share it with others or to expose it in a browser or anything. So, so when you generate the key, then you copy it. So when you copy it, then that's what you paste here. When you type openai.api key, so you create the key here. Now, the, I talk about the model. So model, model refers to the language generation that, that we're going to use. And, and I've said that the OpenAI uses a form model, which is the, the offer form model, which is the DaVinci, the Cori, the Babbage, and the other. So we're going to be using the DaVinci because it's the largest and the most capable model to use. So that's what we use there. So here is a prompt. Actually, we there, there's another parameter when you're creating, when you're trying to create the, or use the OpenAI API. And um, one thing you need, to, uh, you need to provide is also the prompt. And the prompt is, in this instance here, that's for our user input. That's where we are trying to take, you see, we are trying to take user input here, uh, but as a string. So whatever questions you want to ask the, um, the chat GBT, so it's going to be typed here and it's going to give you a feedback. Then we need uh, this variable here, um, the completion variable. So uh, this variable, we use it to, to call on the completion uh, method of the, the completion and create method of the open AI. 
and this will take several variables like I have here, I have the engineer, the engineer mean, meaning the model we're trying to use, which is what I have here, the DaVinci model, that's DaVinci 03. Then the next one, the prompt, which will be the prompt that we specify. We're taking it from um, our user input, the the console, the Python console of the PyCharm here. Yeah? Then the next thing is max token. So max token is, is another parameter that you actually need to specify in your uh, in your code so the it is just the max token is the maximum number of tokens with uh, yeah the maximum number of tokens so we'll talk about uh, the model being able to tokenize almost every word for it to understand it better so you have to specify the maximum tokens there so it's just that the purpose of this is is just to limit the size of generated text so that we can prevent excessive uh, memory usage and processing time so now the one thing here we need to stop. We're not running this top here. Then the end, like the top P here, is the end, which is one. Then the temperature. Now very important here is the uh, temperature parameter that we want to specify. So the temperature just lets you to control how confident the model should be when you're making prediction. And the value ranges from zero to one. So the maximum is one. So so you have to try and choose uh, a temperature that is actually between zero and one because uh, yeah, it's a, it's a value between 0 and 1 and allow you to control how confident it should be. So, But if you lower the temperature, it means the model is going to take fewer risks and completions will be more accurate and deterministic. But if you increase the temperature, it will result in more diverse uh, completions. So you have to, so you should choose a value between 0 and 1. So in this case, we're going to choose 0 0.5. Here. So the next thing here, we want to create a variable where we now want to select the choices. So so that it will be returned to us as text. So meaning when we ask the question, then we are now printing the response, what the charge of it is going to respond to us. So this is just what we need to do that. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run this uh, code that I have here. So if we run it, all right. So now I just have to ask it. Let me just ask the list, list 10, programming languages. Let me just ask it, list 10 programming languages. So if I say list 10, 10 programming languages, so, uh, all right, so yeah, there we have it. So we're able to communicate with the chat GPT. So it gave us Java, Python, C, up to 10. You can as well ask it um, other question as well. I can say uh, in what year, in what year was Python created? Python created. So you can ask the ones. So you, you can basically, all, all right. You see, it says Python was created in 1991. By who? You can just say by who? I just ask it who created Python as well. You can ask the chat GPT now. Eh? All right, so this is very, very, uh, so the ChatGPT is just a perfect assistant for, you know, developers, programmers, so you'll be able to um, use it. Not only, not only that, for a lot of cases like copywriters and the rest to assist you in many things. So, and one way I find it useful is that I can use ChatGPT in my programming language, so I don't have to leave the Python environment. So maybe I'm trying to research something while writing some code. I can also run it here without leaving my um, ID environment. So this guys, so these are, um, you'll, be able, you'll be able to use ChatGPT in your Python, using Python in your Python as a chatbot. And so don't forget, what we did is just to sign up. Uh, the first thing we did is to sign up with OpenAI, then generate our key, then be able to uh, also install the OpenAI API. Once you do that, you um, attach your the API key to the OpenAI.API key parameter. Then with that, we have the function and we make the chatbot to start production. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you guys some other time.